Welcome to another edition of Two for Tuesday Grief and Motivation Talk with me, Kanisha Nichelle. Um, for today, we are going to be talking about seasonal depression is real and don't overdo it. So thank you for joining. Thank you for joining me live. I am not here by myself. I am being joined by my family over in the Grieving Christians Facebook group. So as always, if you are not a member, if you are a believer in Christ and you know that he is all things good, all things well, but while you're in this grieving season, you're still having a tough time with your faith. You've got a lot of questions and you know, want to rebuild your faith in God in this season because it can be tough and it can uh, make you waver, then I would encourage you to um, join our group. We do Monday morning prayers at 715 Eastern time um, every morning, every Monday to start out our week. Um, I do do at least once a month a pop-up workshop that is specifically for them. Um, and we do other different challenges and, and um, different ways to connect with one another. And then, of course, if, you know, whatever you're going through, you have an opportunity to ask questions and to get feedback and to ask for prayer. Just get whatever you need and connect with others along this journey. So if that sounds like a good place for you, if you know you would like to join with the community of others, click the link in my bio to join the Grieving Christians Facebook group, all right? So I am wearing long sleeves today because it is actually 50 something degrees here in Miami. So it is pretty chilly. Uh, so I don't know where you are, but it is cold for me. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and get, in, get into today's inspirational moment. As always, it comes from my Prayers for Strength and Healing book. And today is December 1st. We have made it. We have made it to the end of the year, the last month of 2020 and 2020 for us all left and right has been a whirlwind it has taken us to places that we never even thought was imaginable um, we have experienced loss in various forms be it the loss of a loved one loss of jobs uh, loss of ability to connect with our family loss of being able to travel we've experienced a lot of loss this year but i want you to know that we can definitely finish 2020 um, as best as we can you know I, I talked to you guys on instagram today that the fact that we keep waking up each and every day that is still a blessing and we cannot forget that fact you know even though things may not be perfect or you know our heart is 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 in a soft space right now uh, we have to understand and, and be be cognizant of the fact that God still allows us to wake up and to see another day and so for that we have to say thank you and to be grateful and so as we go into December the last month of this year um, today's word is actually really applicable to us going into this last month so it says when the dark night is, excuse me when the night is dark and cold and the days promise little rest be strong because God has made you a promise of a mighty kingdom on the other side work hard keep moving and never let others derail you from your mission okay I'm gonna read that one more time and it's for to for today which is December 1st it says when the night is dark and cold and the days promise little rest be strong because God has made you a promise of a mighty kingdom on the other side. Work hard, keep moving, and never let others derail you from your mission. And so this, in essence, you know, says a whole, whole, whole lot that, you know, even though right now where we are geographically, and this is going to go into today's Two for Tuesday, um, it's cold outside, right? Most of the, the country is experiencing winter time. And so it does put you in a different sort of mood. And, you know, even when we're going and going and going, when we're trying to figure out life and just figure out everything that's going on. Um, it can be tiresome. It could, it could wear you out. It could burn you out. But at the end, it says to keep moving, 
and to never let others derail you. You have a promise. You have a destiny that is to be fulfilled. You have a purpose that you have to live out. And we can't let the times when it's cold and it's dark, figuratively and um, literally, you know, we don't want to let those times rob us of doing what we're supposed to in the name of our purpose and for what God has told us that we're supposed to do. And so I just want to let you know that you know, even though it could get tough right now and it, it seems like, you know, it's not working out the way that you want it to, keep going. We've got to keep pushing. We've got to keep putting one step in front of the others. We cannot let others around us derail us from our mission and our goal. Um, I'll give you a true story. So, you know, long story short, I had someone to email me who was, you know, not happy that I was, you know, offering my grief recovery program and my grieving um, coaching opportunities and someone decided to you know report me negatively and you know try to tell me that I was doing too much but in my mind it, it hurt me for the moment but I had to think about it and say that I know that I'm doing the work of God I know that I am working in my purpose and so I can't let the distractions of other people get down into my spirit and to stop me from doing what I've been called to do and so, yes, you take a moment to stop and to gather yourself and to regroup. But we can't let other people derail us. We can't let outside circumstances get us off of the mark. We have to continue to push forward, to work hard, to be diligent, um, even in the tough times. And it's okay to rest. It's okay to um, step aside and take a break. You know, rest is good for the soul. It's good for the mind. It allows us the opportunity to just to decompress and to let it all come together. But I don't want that to be a hindrance for you. And so when we read this passage today, you know, work hard, keep moving, and never let others derail you from your mission. We've got to keep going. We've got to keep pushing towards the mark, and we've got to keep our eyes stay on the prize. We know that God did not allow us to go through everything that we've been through to stop now. That was the quote that I that I used that, you know, God didn't allow us to get to the end to let that be the end. No, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep pushing and we've got to work towards that thing, that goal, that mission that God has put on our lives, okay? And so I just wanted to share that with you as we go into this last month of the year that we've got to finish strong. Even though 2020 has been just all around crazy we've got to give it everything we can and so no matter what you're facing no matter what you may be going through just remember that as long as you keep putting one step in front of the other you can make this as long as you keep waking up each and every day it's another day to do what god has called you to do all right so that was today's inspirational moment and we're going to move into today's two for tuesday talk um, which we're talking about seasonal depression is real and don't overdo it. So seasonal depression, um, if you are on my mailing list, I sent some information about this, but seasonal depression is a very real thing. Um, now, me the medical term for depression is, of course, being in a space where you're in a sense of hopelessness, that you are, you have the inability to, to do, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, to do your everyday activities that the things that are going on in your mind and in your heart is stopping you and preventing you from continuing what you're supposed to do on a daily basis, right? So that is depression. It, it puts you in a space where you don't wanna get out of bed, you don't wanna eat, um, you don't wanna interact with other people, that you would just rather be by yourself and be closed off to the world. That is your general term for depression, right? But there's a thing that's called seasonal depression. And for me, it showed up um, the winter following my mother's death. And so I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky. And if you know anything about the Midwest, it is very cold. It is very dark around this time of year. You know, like right now I'm in Miami and it is cool. But if I turn the camera around for you, um, let's see how I do that. If I turn the camera around, you can see that it is still sunny outside, right? You can see that the sun is still out. It's still a beautiful atmosphere, even though it might be 50, I think it's 59 or 61 degrees right now, right? So even though it's cold, it's still pretty out. Well, in Kentucky, none of that happens. You, that, that doesn't happen at all. <laughs> um, very rarely does it happen. 
you know, you may get one or two sunny days out of the week, but the rest of the week, it is very dark. It is very gray skies, it's cold. You know, you get shut up in the house and all of that together, um, coupled with the grief of having lost my mother and not having my father, um, that first year going into my first holiday season with neither of my parents, um, it puts you in a very, very, very tough spot. And so I just want you to know that if that's where you are, and especially if geographically you are not getting a lot of sunlight right now, and you just, that you're in a funk that you can't feel like you're getting out of, that is very well could be seasonal depression. And it's just that because of the atmosphere, because of where we are uh, geographically, the sun is just not shining as much as it is. And so being in a space where it's just dark, it's gloomy it makes you think about your life and it makes you just reflect and so i just wanted to let you know that if that is a space that you're in right now that is very well possible what it could be um because it's coupled with the fact that the holidays are coming and you know this may be your first holiday season without your loved ones so you have those thoughts in your mind you know do i put up decorations do i put up a tree i don't feel like going shopping i don't want to see people happy and jolly and cheery i don't want to hear christmas music and then to step outside and it's cold and it's gray and it's just it just it just you know it intensifies your mood and so i just wanted to share with you that if that is where you are if that's something that you're experiencing that is very likely what you're going through and so of course as always i always tell you that those things are normal um that your mind could just be in a space where um it, it's infiltrated by your environment and so it's a very real thing um but i would encourage you that when the sun does shine you have got to do everything you can to get up and get out and allow that vitamin d to hit your skin um that is the number one reason why i left Kentucky and I moved. Um, I actually did not decide on Florida. I think Florida chose me and that's simply because I had to have an internship to graduate and I knew I wanted to leave but I didn't have an idea of where I wanted to go and it just so happened that the one organization that gave me a shot um, was Miami, Florida. And it is the place, obviously, as we all know, it could be the most sunniest place <laughs> of all of America, simply because it's just warm and it's warm all the time. And so I just want you to know that if you're having those feelings, if you, know, you, you step outside, it's dark, it's gray, it's gloomy, it's cold, and then you are going through um, your grieving season, all of that together could very well be a sign of seasonal depression. And so just know that when the sun does shine, you've got to get every effort to get out and let that sunshine hit you. It is something about the ray of lights. It's called light therapy. Those vitamin D rays really does something to your mood. So wherever you are in all of the world, um, if you are experiencing a increase in your um, sadness because of your grief and because of the holiday season and because of the environment that you're in, um, take full advantage of the sunlight as it comes to you. You know, you see it peeking through the window. That's the day that you got to go and take a walk. You know, you open up the doors and you see a ray of sunshine. That's the day when you at least take a drive. You know, I want you to be able to allow that vitamin D therapy to increase your mood because it is a very, very, very real thing. And like I said, that is probably 90% of the reason why I moved to South Florida because it chose me, but because I believe the good Lord knew that um, where I was living in Kentucky, it just was not good. Um, for my mental and that I personally needed to be close to the sunshine So if you know, that's not an option take full advantage of when it comes. All right, and so um, Let's move into our second point, which is don't overdo it And so this goes to you especially for this holiday season that um, Especially if this is your first holiday without your loved one it can be easy to want to repeat everything that you've done in years past you know putting that christmas tree up putting all the decor um all throughout the house getting those lights outside um doing all of those different things you know it's it's normal but it might not be good for you right now 
and this is just something that you would have to take a honest account of um, for me personally putting up the Christmas tree is something very difficult because that was a tradition of me and my mother's um, we decided on a day that we wanted to do it and we would pull out everything and we would make hot chocolate and we would put on Christmas music and we would just do it together and so for me that is just something that I, I, I very much hold very sacred and I just have not brought myself to the place to do it now my husband and my daughter will do it um, even when my daughter was born you know she wasn't obviously of age and, and had the ability to do it my sister flew into town and she did it and that was simply because I just not in a space to be able to do that so I want to let you know that if that's where you are that if you are forcing yourself to do a tree do decorations get into the holiday spirit if you will um, it is a grief trigger and I don't want you to overdo it I don't want you to do anything that is going to increase um, the level of sadness that you're already feeling in the absence of your loved one um, if you have children I know it's a very fine line uh, because we don't want to rob them of that opportunity so allow someone else to do it um, if it is not you know your spouse if you're in that situation then you know maybe you have a cousin or you have a, a sister you have a friend that will come over and will do it maybe you all can all do it together but I just don't want you to feel pressured that you have to do it I want you to hear from someone who is on your side telling you that if it's something that you don't want to do you don't have to do it and nobody should make you feel guilty otherwise um, but like I said if you have a responsibility because there are children involved or if you genuinely are okay with doing it, you know, don't prevent yourself just because I'm telling you not to. But if you're in a space where it's just the thought, even the thought, haven't even looked at it, haven't even pulled the tree out, or haven't gone to buy a real one if you do real trees. Um, but if it puts you in a space where it's just really difficult and that it just, it just, it pains you to have to do it then I'm telling you that you have permission to, to skip it and not to overdo it. And that goes with giving Christmas gifts. Um, for the first couple of years, I couldn't do gifts uh, because I love the joy of just giving big boxes to my mom and allowing her to see all the, the good stuff that I bought her, right? And so not being able to uh, buy something for her, you know, those first couple of years was tough. And so I just completely foregoed um, doing gift giving to anybody at all you know I didn't expect anything because I'm not giving anybody anything and if somebody chose to do it then of course they did it out of the kindness of their heart but I want you to know that material things right now just may not be important and so don't feel obligated don't feel pressured that that's something that you have to do okay so all in all just don't overdo it don't extend yourself beyond your capacity this again is when boundaries are real this is when boundaries you know is something that you have to make sure that you are implementing into your life i want you to know that you are you are 100 percent in control of everything that nobody has the permission to tell you what to do or how to do it and so if it's something that is triggering for you if it is something that is too much then you have the permission to skip it and to make sure that you're doing everything that works best for you okay so that right there concludes um two for tuesday grief and motivation talk i i truly hope that this has been helpful and beneficial um it, it was the, the seasonal depression one was definitely something that i wanted to make sure that i share i know sometimes i try to stay away from um, the mental health arena but i also want to make sure you're educated and it's simply because it's something that i've been through um, i don't talk about too much of things that i've read i talk about things that i have been through simply because my life is nothing but a testimony to show you what's possible that if i've been able to lose both of my parents and to be able to get to the other side then I want to show you what's possible. And so I, I will, I will, I will um, enhance the things that I've been through with things that I have read, but I'm just not gonna talk about things that I've merely read just to give you information. I am going to share with you exactly what I have been through and to let you know that you're not going through this by yourself. And so I just had it on my heart to share you, share with you exactly what seasonal depression is and how you can get through it. And one of the best ways, again, is light therapy, to make sure that you are getting that sun that sunlight that vitamin d that whenever the sun comes out that you are taking full advantage of it and then the other one that i was um 
fail to share is that talk therapy, right? Is talking and sharing and getting those feelings out with others. And so if you are in a space where you would like to connect with me in a one-on-one -on -one environment so we can talk about the things that you're going through, the everyday grief journey, you know, how to navigate all that comes with grief. And especially as a grief coach, um, the gap in the middle between where you are and the things you're feeling right now and to where you want to be, which is healed, which is in a space where you're not overwhelmed and consumed by the grief, then I would encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one group grief coaching session with me. Um, we'll spend 55 minutes just diving into where you are right now and pulling back the curtains of your life so we can make sure that you are beginning to feel better. So if that is something that you are interested in, um, you can click the link in my bio to book a session. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Grieving Christians, you can visit my website, which is KenishaNichelle.com and book a session there. Okay. So that is all that I have for you all today. Um, I thank you for joining me once again for another Grief and Motivation Talk. Um, Lord willing, we will be right back here in this space on next Tuesday. Until then, take care of yourselves, be safe, and have a blessed week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.